I want to just continue a, a little bit in this talk about Afghanistan, what's going on there, uh, and play for you something that Newt Gingrich said on Friday. Candidly, if Hamid Karzai, the president of Afghanistan, doesn't feel like apologizing, then I think we should say goodbye and good luck. We don't need to be here risking our lives and wasting our money on somebody who doesn't care. Now, I imagine that in a lot of ways, Gingrich is voicing what a lot of people are thinking at this point. It, the Koran was burned, we think, inadvertently by U.S. personnel, and in response, four U.S. military personnel are dead, including two sitting in an office in an Afghan interior ministry. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that capture the public mood? Like, what are we doing there? Let's just get out. Well, I, I think it's important to understand why we went. Uh, and that is to, as Ambassador Crocker said, make sure that Al Qaeda doesn't have a safe haven. We were told Al Qaeda is gone. Well, so they're in Yemen and the. But Candy, let's be let's let's be clear. So they don't have a safe haven for which to plan a terrorist attack like on 9/11 that killed 3,000 Americans. We have. Uh, disrupted and dismantled a large amount of al-Qaeda's network. As you know and your viewers know, Osama bin Laden uh, is dead. And what the president is trying to do now uh, is get us to a point where we can hand off the security of Afghanistan to the Afghans and that we can bring our troops home. I, I think what he's trying to do now is diffuse the tension that's there. Uh, and, you know, quite honestly, I I'm not sure many people are looking uh, to Newt Gingrich for foreign policy advice. If there's a problem on the lunar colony, he'll be among the first we call. <laughs> okay. There you go. Back at him. Let, let me.